Hello and welcome to the updated Exotic Elephant series on Solanium. So Solanium is found on hot planets, any kind of hot weather conditions it is indigenous to, and it's found in these solar vines here, which are now found in these big clusters, whereas previously, if you heard Atlas Rises, they were found in small versions of these plants dotted about the plant surface. So we find Solanium by scanning a planet from space. It does detect it. Unfortunately, it no longer detects it on your scan planet side, but if you use your visor, it shows up as these little green boxes with things in. So what do we get from Solanium? We can if we get close to them, we can interact with it and you'll find that you're picking up about 18 pieces per vine. Previously you would get about 50 pieces per vine, but the vines were spread out over a greater distance. They were few and far between, whereas once you get a hold of one of these clusters, as you can see, the amount of selenium you're going to get is actually greater. The only downside to that is that these clusters are, again, few and far between to come across. So the best way I find of actually tracking them down is low flying over the planet's surface at night. And as you can see, they glow like Christmas trees. They're one of my favourite exotic elements. If you're still struggling to find them and you're in desperate need of some selenium, it's actually found as a secondary element as well in some of the planets. So as you can see there in the green bar, it says Solanium. It has been confused with the desert type climates because they both look the same. Both planet surfaces look the same. They both have very similar conditions. If you come to your discoveries tab, if you look here, this is the planet we're on. It's a dehydrated, hot weather condition planet. It shows that we have selenium, and it also shows another indigenous mineral, phosphorus. Where you have that, you will have selenium. And it differs from the cactus flesh, which is found on desert type planets. If we have a look at there, there we go. So we've got sandy sandstorm conditions for cactus flesh and pyrite which is the indigenous mineral to that planet so if you are looking for selenium and you find pyrite you're on the wrong planet you need to go to a different planet come to one with phosphorus now you will need selenium to complete the npc farmer quest wherein you will gain the blueprint and you'll be able to grow in the hydrophonic trays. Unfortunately, you only, you're only able to grow the little version. It doesn't grow into these great big monsters, which is really quite a shame, to be honest. So what is Solanium used for? That is what Solanium looks like. It's 70 units per piece, which is not particularly valuable. However, you will be able to craft it eventually into a heat capacitor and then you will need that to craft a circuit board and that's where the real money comes in. So that is what you are looking for if you're looking for solar vines and selenium. Remember it is a secondary element as well and I hope you find this useful and happy hunting. Bye for now.